Hi, welcome to the Precious Blood Library. The school is rated very high in terms of holistic education. Academics, I think we rank among the top 10 schools in the country, much as we are a provincial school. Um, in terms of all-roundedness, all in terms of development, I think very many people in Kenya have a very high regard of our school, and as a result, it's rated as one of the top schools in this country. And I think when uh, Rita were looking around for a pilot school, uh, maybe um, a girl's pilot school to work with, so Rita came in, uh, paid us a visit, brought us wonderful books, and I think that was the beginning of uh, everything. First thing when you enter into the library, you see all this um, bright furniture and you feel like, wow, the books will also look brighter. Because before it was so dull, Especially some days when it's so hot and you feel sleepy, but now... Everybody's making a beeline to the library. They want to see what are all these changes. The challenge now is to sustain that interest and um, to particularly have among us people that are drivers so that we can scale it up in terms of um, maximizing the use of the library. And this is particularly for the teachers in terms of capacity building and making them appreciate that the library is not just for the English teachers to use or the, the language teachers to send the students to as a free lesson, but a place that you can actually uh, use for any lesson. Uh, How do you feel? This is a really good one. Really good one. Yeah, we are. This is a very important book. I think we should recommend it even to our leaders to have a look at it. We are very grateful. Thank you. Personally, I'm holding William Shakespeare Macbeth. It's something I've always wanted to read. It just came in, so I'm really excited. I haven't started it yet. I love the way he mixes passion, love, pain, all at the same time to bring out such a beautiful thing. And it's really helping me, like in my talent, drama. I can bring out my feelings more. I'm better in English because I'm reading more books. And it will make us see what's outside the world. It will let us know more about history as much as you don't do history. It will make you know about Nelson Mandela. It will make you know about African writers because many people just think, yeah, right, the best writers are from abroad. They really never look at Kenyan writers, African writers. But now they actually have a chance to see what Africa has to offer. And most likely, they might even get tempted into becoming authors themselves. The cobos are very good because they can keep a maximum of 50 books. So when you borrow from the library, you can have 50 books to read, unlike when you borrow one book for the whole week. And then you can download as many books as you want because they use Wi-Fi and we are privileged to have Wi-Fi in our library. So you're able to download books. It's really nice, interesting things that you can carry around and they're not as heavy as books. And they're just so simple to use. The smart board is going to facilitate uh, or to improve or even make better teaching and learning of subjects because the work of the student is lessened in a way. Like for example biology, I saw there, there are programs say like blood circulation, bones, they are able to see these things other than when they are taught and they just have them as things that are so abstract. Today we're having visitors over at our library to check out all the new designs and the books. At the beginning of this week actually, our library was so plain, as in so, so plain. Just had the shelves, the books, the tables aren't even these ones. Like now you see how they arranged Hunger Games, Eclipse books. The books are quite great, I've seen a lot of them. Yeah, and it's, it will add to our knowledge, the traditional books, the political, historical. They're quite great, yeah. I'd say that this is one of my most interesting sessions of this library because I get to read on some of my role models like Barack Obama. The books have really helped them, even in their vocabulary. You'll find girls of precious blood there. 
speaking good English. They're fluent in their language. This is my first time um, to actually hold or use a Kobo. Yeah, it's interesting, it's fun, and I think they save on space a lot. Like, you can have many books instead of putting them in shelves and stuff. So I think if we have more of the student-student sort of exchanges like we have now, the pressure can also come from the students in terms of the students in schools asking and saying this is what we would like to see in our library. And maybe that can push our parents and heads of schools to consider putting some amounts aside for just, you know, uh, buying books. So the idea is just to stimulate um, interest in learning by, you know, giving them th contemporary information in a contemporary way and exciting them about learning and about research and about knowledge. And that's what I'm finding now the library has suddenly become. A place which was always locked, you'd look for the key and students would come in only in the evening. Now they are saying open it up during the day, open it up during the holiday. Now that this and St. Patrick's are pilot schools, what is your vision in this and how far do you want to reach the schools, like how many schools, by when, you know? Once we've completed the models, yeah. uh, the pilots, yeah. um, which will be by the end of December of this year, we want to scale it up and to target about 60 schools okay. all over Kenya over yeah. the next several years, yeah. uh, doing exactly what we've done here. Yeah. And okay. uh, what we plan to do is to reach out to other donors as well. Mm -hmm. um, we will always do schools every year. Uh, but we can enhance our capacity if we reach out to other donors to come in and then also do another four or five schools a year. Yeah. And if you target six, seven donors doing that, then you can really achieve amazing things. But our dream, mm -hmm. obviously, is to have this in every school. I'm so excited myself, even the type of books. You know, sometimes we hear a library, and when you go there, you don't find books that are exciting. Um, I'm surprised the type of books that I'm getting here are not books even you get in many colleges or even universities. They are not there. It's a unique library. I'm sure next time, Jacinta, you open also reading for us, not only for your girls. I'm sure next time I want to write a paper, I'll come here. I'm finding very, very interesting books. So I sincerely want to thank you, even on behalf of Nairobi. I think when, when uh, Precious Brad have facilities, they are for Nairobi. It's amazing the approach you used to identify the needs. I think few of us can, aff can afford that. To go right interacting with the students on a daily basis. That was the best approach you used and we have learned out of that. I have absolutely no words. I, we were sitting down with the students the other day when we had all these tables full of books and I was just asking them how can we ever thank the foundation for the work that it, it has done. I think there is, there is no way of appreciating this. I think the best we can do is just to try to appreciate what you have given us by using it. But really from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of the hearts of the students in this school and other generations to come, thank you for the work you've done. It's been great, it's excellent.